Good morning. I was reading mainstream media this morning. I know we shouldn't pay attention to them, but I did. I wanted to know what they said about the demonstrations yesterday. And usually I get angry. But this time I just started laughing. You know what I said? You know, we're talking about the demonstrations in Berlin and London, but there were also demonstrations in Zurich, Paris and Vienna. And maybe there are more places. This is what they said about the demonstrations in Berlin. They said, we know that these people are far right. You know how? We know. <laughs> because they were shouting this. They were shouting, we are the people. <laughs> then we know they are far right. Wow. Now these demonstrations were beautiful. It was not about stopping traffic. It was not about making people feel guilty about the color of their skin. It was about freedom. Yeah. Beautiful thing. People going out demanding their freedom. The freedom that was taken away from them by stupid politicians and authorities. Yeah. And you shouldn't stand in the way when people want freedom, you see. It's a bad idea. They tried to do it in Berlin, apparently. I heard that they arrested 300 people in Berlin. They really tried to stop these demonstrations. This will make people even angrier. Yeah. In Sweden we have riots right now. In the town in the south called Malmö, you know, this very multicultural town that we have. We have a lot of them now, by now, you see. But Malmö is the worst. It started with this uh, Danish politician, Paludan. He wanted to come to Sweden, to Malmö, to burn a certain book. And immediately the authorities stopped him. And he is now banned from entering Sweden for two years. That was quick. That was easy, wasn't it? When somebody, like an ISIS warrior, wants to come to Sweden, you know, it's very hard to stop them. But this guy, this Danish citizen, he was stopped. Yeah. Now somebody did it anyway. Somebody else did this thing. Yeah. They burned the book. And then there were riots in Malmö. Chaos, basically. Uh, so the police, they are now calling in reinforcements. The cars are torched, things are set on fire, you know, clashes with the police. Yeah. All right, I want to mention this. I talked about Joe Biden and now he says, I heard him say it himself, he will debate Trump, which is great. Apparently, the big problem here is that they say that Trump is lying. And I was watching this from the United States, people talking about this. And this person pointed this out, which I think is very good. If you want to debate somebody, the best person to debate is somebody who is lying. It's so easy, isn't it? You just present the facts. And expose the person as a liar. It's very easy. It's much harder to debate a person who is telling the truth. And maybe this is the real problem. I think so. Yeah. Right. Be good. Bye.